Hi everyone, my name is Neri. I'm a former ESL student and now an English teacher. And I would like to share to everyone my journey and experiences in learning English in a more fun and exciting way. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to get updates on the videos I upload about grammar, pronunciation, vocabulary, and speaking. Today we're going to cover 20 commonly mispronounced words in English. This is part of my pronunciation series, so if you haven't watched the first one, please click here. Look at this word. As a noun, it's pronounced as contract. Contract. Like, we should sign the contract. As a verb, this word is pronounced as contract. <laughs> Sorry. As a verb, this word is pronounced as contract. Contract. You don't want to contract coronavirus. As you can see, they are really identical. They have the same spelling, but very different pronunciation. Contract. Contract. And that's an easy one. Here's more. I. I. They're completely different, but similar pronunciation. What about these words? I'm sure you'll think that they have different pronunciation. Anyway, they are spelled differently. But I'm sorry to say, these words are pronounced the same way. Lesson. Lesson. Again. Lesson. Lesson. Surprised? I was. But if you look it up in the dictionary, you'll see that both words have reduced vowel sounds. The schwa. I'm going to teach you this sound in one of my videos because the schwa is one of the most common and important sound in English that I think a lot of ESL students should learn if they want to improve their pronunciation and sound more natural. If these oddities in English don't make you go crazy, well, I don't know what will. Anyway, I think that's what makes this language very interesting to learn. Some of the words that we're going to cover today may sound a little bit different depending on who's speaking because they might be using different accents like American, British, Australian. So that's why I advise my students to choose or to know how they want to sound like before studying pronunciation. Let's start with the word mean. Mean. A very common pronunciation of this word is meme. It's not meme, but mean. Mean. Number two is valet. Valet. An incorrect pronunciation of this word is valet. Valet. But to give this word the correct pronunciation, stress the first syllable and give the second syllable an A sound. So it goes, valet, valet. Number three is tomb, tomb. When mispronounced, students say this word as tomb. However, this word has a silent letter B. Hence, to pronounce this correctly, you should say tomb, tomb. The fourth one is bowl, bowl. This word is often pronounced wrongly as bowel. This has an O sound and not A, ah, so it should be bowl. Bowl. Number five is receipt. Receipt. A common mispronunciation of this word is receipt. Receipt. 
This word has two syllables with the stress falling on the second syllable. This also has a silent letter P, so to pronounce this right, say receipt with a long E. Receipt with a clear T. Receipt. Receipt. Next up is restaurant. Restaurant. Some students pronounce this word as restaurant. And I know that this word is quite challenging, but here's how it goes. We put the stress on the first syllable, and the second syllable is simply just a t, like rest, with a reduced vowel sound. The third is runt. Runt. So it's rest, t, runt. Restaurant. However, in British English, you'll probably just hear two syllables. Restaurant. Restaurant. So you can either say restaurant for American English or restaurant for British English. Number seven is library. Library. This word is often mispronounced as library. Library. Challenging words like this can be broken down into syllables to help you pronounce them easily. Library has three syllables. Li -bra library. Next word is athlete. Athlete. Some people pronounce this word as athlete. Athlete. This word has two syllables with the first syllable ending with a th sound. Ath. Ath, and the second syllable with a long vowel sound, leet, leet. So it goes like athlete, athlete. Number nine is stomach, stomach. Students pronounce this word as stomach, stomach. In my experience, this word is one of the most difficult to master. So let's break it down into two syllables. St, st, not st, but st. This syllable has a reduced vowel sound similar to the next one, which is mech, mech, not match, but mech, st, mech, stomach. Number 10 is flower. Flower. Students often say this as flower, flower, but it's actually flower, flower, like the flower, rose. Moving on to the word candidate, candidate. This word is commonly mispronounced as candidate, candidate. Now, let's break it down again into three syllables. Can, can, di, di, dit, dit, candidate, candidate, candidate. Number 12 is February or February. This word has a couple of pronunciation variations. For example, in Cambridge Dictionary, this word has a brew, fabru, February pronunciation. Whereas in other dictionaries, the pronunciation is fabu, bu, February. I guess you just have to choose which ones you're more comfortable with, but it's definitely not pronounced as February. When we talk about music, the pronunciation of this word is base, base. But because of the crazy spelling system of English, this word is incorrectly pronounced as bass. But you should remember the pronunciation of this word is base. Number 14 is the word 
almond, almond. It's not al with an l sound or mond with an o sound, but a with a silent l and mond with a schwa or reduced vowel sound. Again, almond, almond. Let's go to number fifteen. This word is pronounced as quote. Quote. Almost always, students pronounce this word as coat. Coat. Listen to how this word is correctly pronounced. Quote. Quote. Jumping into the next one, this word is pronounced as cocoa. Cocoa, not cocoa, okay, but cocoa. Cocoa. Moving on, we have the word women. Women. This is the plural form of the word woman. Because of its spelling, ESL students pronounce this word as woman. Woman. But this is correctly said as women, women. Number eighteen is the word heart, heart. Unfortunately, some students pronounce this as hurt, like "ouch, it hurts." Actually, the correct pronunciation of this word is heart, like "ah, heart." Heart. For number nineteen, we have the word coupon. Coupon. This is commonly said as coupon, but the correct way to say this is coupon. Coupon. Finally, the word lingerie. Lingerie. Which means women's underwear. This is also a challenging word for many, so this is incorrectly pronounced as lingerie. However, there are two ways to pronounce this word. If we use the American English, the stress should fall on the third syllable, so it'll sound like lingerie, lingerie. If we use British English. The stress will fall on the first syllable. It's lon, lingerie. It's not ray this time, but re, lingerie.